Hi guys, welcome back to the 12 Days of Foundation, day number 10. We have hit double digits. I'm reviewing 12 foundations in 12 days. So all of my previous reviews will be linked down below. Today we're talking about a stick foundation. It is the MAC Studio Fix Soft Matte Stick Foundation. This launched pretty recently and you know, MAC has a very special place in my heart. So let's go ahead and get started. So this foundation launched fairly recently and I was encouraged to pick it up because I was purchasing something else from the Sephora website when they were doing their, they might actually still be doing it, I'm not sure, the 25 off of $75 and in Canada, MAC is sold at Sephora and I was buying something else and I needed to like add something else to my cart so I was like, you know what? I want to try it. So this foundation retails for $36 Canadian, $31 American. You're getting nine grams of product in here, which is pretty good. It's a, I would say that's a near average for the size of a stick foundation. It comes in 33 different shades. I'm wearing NC42 and I actually haven't worn a MAC foundation in a while. And NC42 has like always been my shade, but I definitely have more color lately. And like I've mentioned in a lot of other reviews, I've been leaning away from yellow foundation. So I'm curious to see how this is going to go. This is the only foundation uh, over the 12 days that I haven't like extensively tested, but I just picked this up and I was like, we might as well kind of try it together. Uh, and I was curious to give this a try. This claims to be, let me double check, matte. Yes, matte, medium coverage. It's a stick, obviously, <laughs> and for normal dry combo or oily. Something that I really like in the packaging of this for like no reason in particular is the fact that they put the shade NC42 right here. Uh, in kind of the color of NC42. I don't know, that is just satisfying to me. <laughs> the thing is too, a lot of my, like, my favorite stick foundations are ColourPop, I love the NARS, and I loved the Smashbox that had the contour on the other side, and the NARS and the Smashbox have been discontinued, um, and those were my favorite sticks, but ColourPop still exists, thankfully. So this uh, draws on pretty nicely. This is the unprimed side of my face. So I have a sponge and I have a brush. I wanna try both. I will say I feel like I would have liked having a primer down. I feel like because it doesn't have a lot to stick to or like to glide on, it's not gliding on as nicely. Um, and people don't talk about MAC the same way they used to. <laughs> I was actually kind of mortified a little while back because like obviously times are changing. New generations are coming in and people are getting into makeup much earlier than they used to. Okay, I think I'm gonna like a brush with this a little bit more. This is the Sigma Curved Kabuki F83. What am I like using MAC, using an F83? This is like throwback review. Um, not paying attention to what I'm doing. But somebody had commented on my video, I was talking about how people in my generation, a lot of people started on MAC. That was kind of like your first foray into brands. And then I feel like now people are starting on like Too Faced and Tarte and like there's just so much more awareness and whatever else. But someone commented and they were like, yeah, uh, I'm, and cause I don't have like that young of a subscriber base, I guess by no means like a mature subscriber base, but I do have more mature viewers. And I also have just in general, I skew a little bit older. Like I don't have like a lot of 12 year olds and 15 year olds watching my videos, I think. If you do, hello. If I do, hello. Um, but she was like, yeah, I'm 15 and I kind of see Mac as like a mom brand. And I was like, no. <laughs> it's like people my age are starting to have children, like not make of age children, but still like even someone like 10 years older than me. So, it's kind of like, you know, how there's brands that I always saw as like brands that like things like Clinique, Estee Lauder, they were like the brands that you always saw on like people's vanities when you'd like go over to their houses. And then I feel like the Mac kind of became that thing, um, which is interesting. But Mac was always a brand that I liked because first of all, it was like a good foray into high-end makeup. We know, I mean, we didn't have a, we still don't have a Mac in Newfoundland where I grew up. Uh, we only got a Sephora in 2016, but whenever I would go away, I would always want to try MAC. And MAC had a color for me, which is really important in terms of complexion products. Uh, they had huge shade ranges in terms of the lipsticks and stuff, and I play with a lot of colors, so I really liked that. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it was a, it's a special brand to me, and the MAC lipsticks were just iconic. I like the way this looks. I wasn't sure actually when I was drawing this on because it felt kind of stiff, but this looks really good. Looks like quite natural. Um, but yeah, like 
I still like I'll hold on to my MAC lipsticks forever it's also a Canadian born brand like I think the problem was was that they overdid it with limited edition collections like it got really exciting but then it got really old and then when all the other makeup brands and stuff started like coming in and being like real competitors like it was like they didn't have that much competition for a while started doing sales started doing new collections etc then they kind of had to change so I do want to recommend if you aren't part of the Mac select program you should probably join that because it's free first of all and then they, they'll do Mac select sales so especially if you're not in Canada where like you can get Mac on sale like I got my coupon for this uh, they'll do 25% off every now and then I think you can get points which they never did before and that's a free program hmm I really like the way this looks like a lot a little bit there. I feel like I put quite a bit on my face, but it doesn't look like it. Hmm. This looks good, and the shade match looks good too. It's not as yellow as I thought. The reviews on Sephora her lips were not good. I feel like this is less yellow than the NC42 I know. Because I was like, what if I'm not NC42 anymore? That's literally my identity as NC42. I used to say that in all my reviews. Now I just like list it below because I figure like not as many people are wearing MAC anymore so it's not as relevant but I am very very happy with this. I think the coverage looks beautiful. Uh, I think if you have a drier skin top type right off the bat I don't think this is going to be something that you would enjoy unless you put like maybe a primer oil or something down before. Who is there? Hi Rimbos! Everybody loves a Rue cameo. You look so beautiful in the ring light. Do you like this foundation? It's like one America's Next Top Model when they used to make them pose with animals. Come on, bro. Find your light. Mm. Okay. Be free. Oh! <laughs> she jumped off and then knocked my beauty blender and then the beauty blender came after her and knocked her on the head. You okay? do a story time I was attacked by a beauty blender anyways I don't even know where I was I got so distracted but I love the way that this looks oh yeah like if you have dry skin I feel like you're not going to feel that creaminess you might hope for but for me when I used a brush it blended out like a dream I definitely didn't get a ton of coverage though uh, and I did put I think a lot on my face like it's harder to gauge with a stick how much you're putting on your face but like you saw how much I did I just I didn't cut anything out I feel like I drew it on a few times but I really do enjoy the coverage that I got I think it looks like a really nice kind of light medium coverage it has like a little bit of sheen to it but when you look up close on your skin it's kind of interesting because it has sheen but I can also kind of see that soft matteness when I get up close uh, into looking at my skin and you can still see like you know my freckles and stuff coming through but yeah I think it looks really really good so I'm gonna go ahead do the rest of my makeup I was like took me so long to figure out what lipstick I wanted to wear today because I was like I gotta break out a back lipstick but uh, I don't know if I've totally settled on one yet but anyways I'm setting myself up for disaster because it's not gonna be that exciting it's just gonna be a lipstick color but anyways uh, I will be right back okay so I settled on Mac rebel I feel like this is a classic I was in between rebel and heroin <laughs> I also used a Mac mascara which I don't have much experience with Mac mascaras I've got on the blush one of my favorite blushes from them I mentioned it in my like videos that uh, my blushes that make great blushes and highlighters kind of combination extra dimension blush and then one of my favorite highlighters from them is actually it was limited edition part of the Taraji P Henson collection but it's the mineralized skin finish in highlight the truth and because the blush is already quite glowy I just put this on it's a really good highlighter if you have like textured skin or want something more natural I'm sure they've got similar finishes in their mineralized skin finishes but anyways back to the foundation love the way it looks I love the shade match I love the finish uh, I also thought it looked great in photos here in my studio lighting I think it looks quite natural on the skin you can see like my skin showing through and then in flash photos I thought it performed quite well as well I wasn't totally sure how it was gonna go down in flash but I thought it looked uh, looked pretty good so I'm really really happy with uh, how everything looks and I will continue to wear it and check back with you in some natural light a little bit later this afternoon Hello, so I just woke up from a Sunday nap on the couch. I did not mean to fall asleep. I don't know if you can see, but I was just asleep on that yellow pillow. And my whole face has like indentations on it. And I woke up, I was so confused. I was like, oh my god, I didn't start filming my 
foundation review. I'm going to be a day behind and I'm so confused. I'm still feeling a little bit, I don't know, like, you know, when you accidentally fall asleep and you're just like, who am I? That's what I feel like right now, but I have to film my check-in because it's much later <laughs> than I had anticipated. Uh, things look really, really good. I am a little bit uh, sweaty in the face because it's pretty warm in here right now. But otherwise, things look good, and even though I have that pillow indentation on my face, uh, nothing has, like, shifted around or patched or anything like that. So I'm going to wear this for a few more hours, and I will check in with you tonight. Okay, so I am back, and I'm not going to lie. I have almost no idea what I said to you during my check-in because <laughs> I woke up from a nap and then decided to immediately film the check-in because I was like oh my god it's late in the day and I was like half asleep so hopefully it was a slightly coherent check-in. Uh, I am going to touch up. You can see I'm a little bit shiny. I've been cooking. It's quite warm in the apartment. We're actually getting ready to go meet uh, one of Nemz's friends just had a baby so we're going to go meet her. Um, so I've been cooking and doing a little Sunday clean, but I'm going to also show you just how I touch up at the end of the day if I don't want to like redo my whole makeup. So I'm just going to blot. Uh, I think you can see the things look pretty good. Like I almost kind of had this feeling when I applied it that it wasn't going to be long wearing and it was really going to really going to patch away just for some reason it felt like that, but it actually, sorry, that's the air fryer. Um, it actually looks quite good. It has not oxidized. I think for something that is part of the MAC Studio Fix line, you would expect it to be more full coverage, but I actually really liked the amount of coverage that I got. So I'm just gonna touch up with the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. And generally what I'll do if I'm heading back out is I'll take my under eye powder. So that's my banana powder from, sorry, my mirror is over here. My banana powder from Makeup Revolution. Then I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix powder. But yeah, I think like, I know Sylvia, if you watch Sylvia, she's uh, here in Toronto, she really likes this stick foundation and I think she has a more dry skin type. Maybe she's just like priming her skin a lot, but I've seen her talking about this foundation, which was kind of why I was interested in, in it. So she seems to like it. So let me know if you have tried it. So I'm just gonna touch it with that powder. And then, I'm gonna reapply some more of the blush that I had on earlier, the Telling Glow, because this is kind of blush and highlight. And that adds like a little bit of glow and just kind of refreshes things. And I already put on a lip gloss, and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray my face, actually. I feel like sometimes that just makes me feel better. <laughs> this is the Bare Minerals uh, Dew Mist, which I quite enjoy. So yeah, that's my touched up face. But overall, I gotta say I really enjoyed this foundation. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this was only, you know, like my first time trying it, but I gotta say, like, it it, it looked pretty good. I took a nap, I've been cooking, I've been cleaning, um, and I thought it lasted really nicely. The shade match looks really good, too. Actually, that's what I wanted to do. I might actually do, like, a blog post and compare, but I'm so behind on writing blog posts that I just wanted to swatch it next to my Studio Fix Fluid. This is NC42, because I feel like my Studio Fix Fluid and, like, my other MAC foundations are super yellow, but maybe... Maybe they're not, so I may as well just swatch it here and see. And I do look kind of shiny now again because I set it with that spray. So after it sets down, after the spray sets down, I might powder like around my nose again. So yeah, it's definitely more neutral. So on top is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC42, and on the bottom is the stick, and the stick is more neutral, and that's why I think I was happier with the shade match. So something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, so not exactly the same, but honestly, I'm kind of happier with with the undertone of the stick over the liquid. So I'm gonna continue to wear this. I like this. Let me know if you are interested in this product, what you think about it, if you have tried it. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I feel like the reviews on the Sephora website were not great. And it isn't kind of what I've come to expect from MAC Studio Fix, but it's kind of more in line with the type of foundations that I'm enjoying lately. I don't know that it's gonna be something that I still would reach for on a day where I'm like, I want my makeup to last all day and into infinity, but I thought it looked really gorgeous when I applied it and I still think it looks really nice. Now I've had it on, I put it on about eight o'clock this morning and now it's just after 6 p.m. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good, but as always, let me know what you think down below and what your skin type is if you haven't tried it because that's always helpful to hear from other people. And if you would like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.